Well, I suppose I do look a bit ghastly with all this bad lighting, and uh, I must learn how to control this camera. It's a cheap webcam called Crystal Eye in my Acer, Acer lap, El Cheapo laptop computer. Let's, um, oops, yes. Let's have a look at uh, uh, the email, the uh, how to add a uh, audio file, an audio file into the email, an El Cheapo way of sending, uh, instead of making telephone calls overseas. Let's have a look. We go down to the uh, start button and we click accept all programs. Yes, all programs. Go to accessories and in that you'll find the sound recorder. Okay, now the st sound recorder comes up. It says start recording. So we're going to make a two minute recording. So do, 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 we've made a two minute recording. Then we uh, will save it, and uh, we save it where we want it, say on the desktop. And it will be saved as a WMA file, won't it? It will. That audio file, that little voicemail we're making, will be saved as a WMA file, and it will be, what? what's the properties? Let's see. Two minutes long is about 1.42 megabytes. So a WMA file at 1.2 one point four two megabytes and uh, then all we have to do is attach it to our email and send it to uh, to our overseas friends if we like or people living far away I mean I can't afford uh, I can't afford uh, you know a portable phone it costs too much and all these teenagers that do all that text messaging that cost they run up enormous bills so I, I'm not into that I've just got a fixed uh, telephone line but I'd like to do all this over. I've got an ISD bar too on my telephone because I can't afford overseas phone calls to my relatives overseas. So what I do is I just make a little two-minute audio file, a WMA file, and uh, append it to my email as an attached file. You can do the same. It's lots of fun and it saves you money. But um, of course, there's people using all these what are they called iPods or iPhones or something? All these mod cons, but they all cost money. If you don't have money, what are you going to do? So you've got to be creative. Not everyone has access to Skype technology too. The person on the other end mightn't know how to use Skype. I could learn how to use Skype, but will my rel could my relatives be bothered to learn how to use Skype? <laughs> I don't know that they would be bothered. And uh, yes, so it's lots of fun. And you just, uh, it'll, uh, um, yes, AOL, for example, will will accept um, um, those files of 1.42 megabytes. I haven't tried anything beyond two minutes. You might be able to get away with three minutes. There's a, I think there's a size limit to uh, how much the uh, uh, different uh, companies will take. I don't know what Google's size limit is. Um, I know when I used to be in MailExcite years ago with a freebie account, they used to have a, a you know, they used to have a very small, small size for all their freebie subscribers. I think they had a deluxe account for people who wanted to pay a little bit more. So you can just send, uh, yes, just send them to AOL or uh, wherever you like. And uh, they take a while to, if you've got slower broadband like I have, they'll take a while to send, like a four-minute uh, WMA file might, no, a two-minute uh, WMA file might take about four minutes to send with slower broadband like I've got. But it's good if you're a cheapskate, if you want to make, if, if it's a festive occasion, you just want to say hello, you know, your relatives might like to hear your voice, you might have loved ones overseas, could be Christmas, could be Easter, or some festive occasion, religious holiday, whatever, you might just like to have met, be friends and uh, talk to a friend. It's lots of fun and it won't cost you anything. It's cheaper than, uh, it's cheaper than long distance phone calls. It's uh, you don't need to have a, a portable phone. Of course, that's a problem if the person at the other end has got a slow broadband too. That you're not gonna you're not gonna win any friends by uh, sending a whole lot of audio files that take ages to come in. But just the occasional uh, audio file is lots of fun. And uh, um, yes, what's this? This is uh, Vista, Windows Vista, and it's got uh, uh, it's an Outlook Express or Windows Email. Anyway, it takes uh, uh, you can actually have uh, add WAV files, WAV files, and MIDI files to uh, a Windows uh, Outlook Express email, and they will play automatically. You go up to uh, that. Um, no, that's 
uh, yeah, WAV and MIDI files will play automatically in an email. If you go up to uh, the top in your email, click Format, and uh, what do you click? Although, yes, let's see. Oops. Okay, let's see. Hurry up, come on. Yes, okay. Create a mail. Okay, let's see. Okay, up the top you create a mail. As you click format, and then you click uh, background, then you click sound, and then you can uh, browse and uh, uh, append a uh, what is it? A WAV file or a WAV file or a MIDI file. Of course, MIDI files are just music. They're fun to send, but they're not they're not voice files. Um, you can uh, you can also uh, change or uh, you can change a WMA file into a, a WAV file at, by using Audacity Freebie software if you want to muck around with that. But uh, you'll have to make sure that the the WAV file that you make is shrunk in size to fit into the email. So that's about it. Have a bit of fun anyway. It's lots of fun. I can hear a lawnmower out there. I hope it's not coming into this. So it's lots of fun. If you can't afford a portable phone, as I can't afford one, and um, uh, you, you know, a lot of people are having fun with text messaging, but that costs money, <laughs> doesn't it? So, I mean, why why make an overseas phone call when <laughs> when you can just <laughs> add an audio an audio file to an email? I mean, uh, everyone has email now, don't they? Or, or free accounts at at uh, AOL or Gmail or wh wherever. So just, uh, yes, if you're poor as I am, just send your overseas friends an email. And AOL most certainly uh, will take um, a two-minute uh, audio file as a WMV file. That's lots of fun, and you can save money that way. But as I said, you're not going to win friends by uh, sending them a huge number of audio files if they've got slow broadband. Everything's going to be slowed down. But it's lots of fun. Try it anyway. It's lots of fun. And it saves you money.